Welcome to Gallery Teachers Masterclass. If you haven't met me before, my name is Alex um, and I'm one of the teachers with Gallery Teachers and I really look forward to teaching you today all about compliments. Some really practical, functional language, not only for giving compliments, but also language for receiving compliments. Um, so why is this important? So when we're, when we're giving compliments, we want to do so in um, a way that's kind of polite and respectful and that um, is appropriate for our relationship. So that's why we're also looking at formal compliments or language for giving compliments in a formal way for people you don't know so well, but also language for um, an um, informal language for giving and receiving compliments for friends and family, right? So compliments, they're something we like to give and definitely we like to receive them. They are a way that we build friendships, we um, reinforce and build relationships this way, and we also show appreciation. Um, um, it's a way to show appreciation or and admiration for someone. Um, we will look at the different ways that we give compliments and uh, the different reasons, which are typically compliments about skills com and abilities, compliments about appearance, and also compliments uh, about possessions, right? What someone has that we admire. Um, okay, so, so, so our topic, our goal, how to give and receive compliments. Do we think this is a good example of how we can give and receive compliments, right? Person one says, you look well. Person uh, two or person B responds, okay, thank you. Okay, does this sound like good compliments to you? Well, I can tell you definitely not. This is um, very short, very direct, um, not particularly polite. Um, and we have to be very careful when we're giving compliments. Uh, to avoid causing offense, especially. So this would not be a good example. We can definitely improve on this. Okay, in fact, um, to keep things as um, polite and formal as possible, we often introduce compliments with some formal phrases that are a way to ask for permission to give a compliment, right? That's quite typical in English. We will ask permission in a way before we give the compliment. Example, can I pay you a compliment? Or can I give you a compliment? I hope you don't mind me saying, but if I may say, or even quite formal now, may I be so bold as to compliment your... So um, these are ways we can introduce a compliment, particularly when we don't know a person so well, to avoid being rude. Now, actual compliments. Here are some phrases to compliment skills and abilities. So I've noticed I've written the form and also some examples. Your adjective at verb plus ing. For example, you are, you're brilliant at researching. Next, we can use a little bit more hypothetical, I wish I could, right? This is to show almost envy. I wish I could verb like you. I wish I could dance like you. Or I wish I could dance like you do. And the more informal expressions I've written in bold, for example, you really or you sure know how to, then there's the verb or the activity. Example, you really know how to cook. Okay, so there's our first examples. We have some more. You can use a your a, uh, and then we have a noun phrase. You're an excellent student. You're a fantastic parent, for example. Uh, we can also use what a structure. What a adjective noun phrase. What a skillful driver you are. And the more informal, again, better for friends and family, perhaps, great verb plus ing skills. For example, great gardening skills. Next, um, if we're talking about someone's possession, something they have that we really admire, uh, here's some more structures. 
quite similar. We have another what a structure. What a positive adjective noun you have. For example, what a nice car you have. If we're being more informal, again, friends and family, we might really shorten this to just nice car, right? And much more formal, more polite, I can't help but notice, right? Or I couldn't help but notice your, in this case, your nice car. So we have different levels of familiarity and formality here. Just a couple more, again, for possessions. You've got, of course, we like to use you've got for possessions. You've got a positive adjective noun. We can use such as an intensifier here. You've got such a lovely apartment. Or we can use I'm jealous, right? Or intensifier, I'm really jealous of your stunning garden, right? And lastly, to compliment appearance. Now, this is especially an area where we have to be extra careful, um, extra polite. It really depends on our relationship with a someone, what is appropriate to say about someone's appearance and what's not appropriate. So again, it's very important to think about the formality of the language as well. But when it is appropriate to compliment someone's appearance, we can use this language. Okay, for example, present simple or present continuous. You look really well today. Or you are looking great today. Um, I really like, love your, for example, I like your new haircut. You look, and if we're talking to a woman, you look beautiful. Or if we're talking to a man, you look handsome. And the more informal, again, for close friends and family, what a structure. What an elegant dress. Is it new? Remember, you can ask extra questions when you're complimenting someone to show interest, right? Oh, I like your new, sh I like your shoes. Are they new? Where did you buy them? Okay, it's a way to show interest. Right, so that's how to give compliments. And finally, how do we accept compliments? If we're happy to receive a compliment, um, then we might want to, you know, respond in one of these ways. Sometimes with a question, you really think so? Honestly, thank you very much. Or that's kind of you to say so. Or simply, you're very kind. Um, a little bit more informal or maybe just more enthusiastic. Thanks, you've made my day, right? You've made my day means you've made me feel really happy. Thank you. If we're being extra modest, you're too generous or you're much too generous, but thank you. And very nice. Thank you for noticing, right? I appreciate it. And then in bold, we've got the more informal for friends and family. Come on, you're exaggerating, maybe. Or you're making me blush, right? To blush is when your face goes red, right? From modesty, for example. You're making me blush. We can also say this. But again, that's more for informal um, for friends and family.